really excited for this. I'm friends with both of these guys. Um, and they're both like some of the meanest pieces of shit that I know in my life, like personally. Like, w like people were talking shit, it's like, yeah, that guy's a mean fucking jaggle. He's like an asshole. And they're gonna attack each other in front of you all right now. Are you fucking ready? Yeah. Two of the best on our show, I swear to God, give it up for the very funny Tito and Eric Emerson! <laughs> Okay, Tito, I'm gonna have you call it in the air, my friend. It's heads. You're going first, Eric. It's gonna be five jokes each. Audience, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one! Roast. All right, this is good. Guys, give it up for Tito. He just got back from Mexico. How nice is that? We were worried he wouldn't make it here, but he took a trip. Great for his mental health, all right? Mexico, beautiful beaches, endless rainforest, no national age of consent. It's everything he needs <laughs> to relax for a little bit. Look at this grown ass chicken little. <laughs> Bro, how are you almost 30, but you look like you still get molested? It's unbelievable. Can we pause? You're a 40 year old bisexual landlord. Don't talk like Jesse Pinkman. It's weird. <laughs> It throws all of us off. Tito is creepy. You can see he's got the nails painted. He's kind of a Buffalo Bill. If Buffalo Bill made a human skin suit, say, Vans off the wall. Bro, you look like you only use Vans that light up. Bro, fuck out of here. <laughs> you can't do you, looks like... Oh, sorry, that... Yeah. <laughs> That's Rich coming from. Bro, we get it, bro. You look like you just want to relax and take some pictures, right? <laughs> Oh, some weird white shit. How are you gonna do look like Joe? Your hair looks like toilet carpet. You're a real butt pirate of the Caribbean, all right? You look like if Johnny Depp shit his own bed. Thank you, Cuckleberry Finn. That was amazing. Oh. Bro, how am I getting roasted by a dude with the voice of an old timey cartoon detective? You know? He looks like he gets drunks at parties and activates go-go gadget shoulder rubs. Tito talks a big game. Uh, I don't know, he is fake tough, all right? He's not real tough. Tito looks like he'd say a lot about stealing your girl and then slide in her DMs with kitty videos and recipes. Dude, <laughs> Eric's, <laughs> Eric's girlfriend's so young. They met on a dating app called Kinder. <laughs> yeah, Tito does not have any kids of his own, but he makes a pretty compelling argument to make sure yours are home before dark, okay? <laughs> that was Tito's dad is Mexican, his mom's Puerto Rican. So if you're wondering why he looks like a gypsy fucked a 14-year-old mall goth, it's because that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Eric's not a fan of Star Wars, but he does love it when the Empire strikes blacks. <laughs> oh, Luke Nightwalker, bitch. Fuck out of here. Okay. Give it up for them, everybody. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Oh, my God. You guys give up on the chance so quick, dude. It's so funny. They're always like, battle! You're like, yeah, okay. I mean, that's fine. We can do it if we want to. One more time for them. Sorry to steal your bit. One more time for them. They're fucking hilarious. That was awesome. I do want to get first thoughts from Kevin Kellum. You're going nuts at the end there. Jesus Christ. So much fucking energy. So many different clash of styles. Clash of styles. What an odd couple this would be. Oh, my God. They want to reboot that for Netflix. Here we fucking go. All right. Uh, uh, Eric, you wrote some great stuff, and some of it was really, really strong, but I, there was just this finesse from Tito. I thought the crowd responded to it. I'm going to go with the crowd. I thought the crowd responded to Tito. I'm going to go with Tito. Okay, Tito gets a vote. Give it up for him. <laughs> Darius. <laughs> what? He's, yo, okay. What, what is... No, it was, it was funny, because you called on me, and he was like, oh, interesting. And I was like, did you want it? <laughs> like, did you, yeah. <laughs> nah, um... Tito, uh, that was fucking funny. Um, Eric, that was that was that was also fucking funny. But uh, kind of the same thing. Like Tito, 
I feel like kind of encapsulated the, the, it's a real word, don't look it up though, uh, encapsulated the room better. Why would they not look up the word Because I want them to find it out, it's not a real word. It's no, a real word, we've all, <laughs> to put into a okay. capsule. Did you? Yeah, encapsulated. All right. Uh, <laughs> So Boo to that. Oh, okay. No, this is so bad. I'm on the panel. Hold on. Don't, don't bring it over here. It's a, dude, it's a free for all. Um, um, it's a free to think about cows. We might as well learn a new word today. Yeah. yeah. But yeah anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to give it to Tito. That was, that was great, man. Okay, two for Tito. Keep it going for him. The band work. That was a great battle. Do not clap for it. <laughs> Whoa, character growth. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Okay, uh, <laughs> fucking great battle, dude. Both of you were back and forth. I actually thought, I thought Emerson had the crowd on his side. I'm gonna go with Eric, but we Shut do up. an, if, if Tito, if, 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 if Tito advances to the next round, every time he says, bro, we need to take a shot. And okay. that's, that's fair. That's great, all right, that's great battle. My vote goes for Emerson. Okay, Emerson, give it up for the applause. He got his applause. He got his applause. Very nice. Quaslo. Uh, I think uh, I'm just as shocked as anybody that Eric looks like that and isn't wearing a puka shell necklace. Uh, <laughs> What's a puka show? Yeah, bro. Yeah. It's, so, do I have to look it up with a cat? Okay, you're not cool. Uh, yeah, uh, it's that shell necklace that every douchebag wore when we were 12. Gotcha. Yeah. Totally didn't have one of those. Uh, not me. Yeah, no, we, we know. You got it at the Spencer's Gifts. Uh, I, look, I, you stole the words out of my mouth that Tito's hair looks like toilet carpet. Uh, because, yeah, I actually, I might take Tito home and turn him upside down. I got some cleaning to do. Uh, but, uh, other than, like, Tito just had the energy. I, I feel like his jokes were stronger tonight. Uh, like, e Eric, you had maybe my favorite joke of the battle, but I think Tito was stronger overall. Uh, I'm, I'm giving it to Tito. Tito wins a battle. Give it up for him. Give it up for him. God, that was a good one. I want final thoughts from Miss Atano, though. Um, I just want to say, Tito, that I don't like how everybody's, all these white people are making all these racial comments about the condition of your hair. <laughs> It's very inappropriate. And if you guys want to message Chris Greco <laughs> and share your grievances about how racist this fucking show is, we can make it stop tomorrow. Oh, um, man, she knows my kryptonite. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you guys both had good jokes, so it doesn't really matter what I think, but I guess I'm going to vote with Tito. OK, she guesses it's Tito. Contestant, give it up for him one more time. Amazing contestants, good job.